guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be super exciting. This is my second try on for a subscription box and today I have two boxes. So I'm going to be doing a FabFitFun style box versus a Stitch Fix style box. Alright guys, if you're new to my channel, my name is Tiffany. My two-year-old daughter is sitting right next to me and I'm currently 13 weeks pregnant. So this is my first try-on since I've been pregnant. I haven't gotten um, any new clothes. I've done Stitch Fix before. I did it a couple months ago, so I get boxes every three months. And they do have an option on there where you can select that you're pregnant, then you put your due date and then... Mommy. Someone didn't want to take her nap. <laughs> and then um, they kind of just adjust your style to your growing belly. So FabFitFun, from what I saw, does not have the same styling options online as Stitch Fix does. So that was kind of a downfall for me already. But I do like that Stitch Fix does look into my Pinterest boards to really understand my style. So I'm just excited to see if they are accommodating my pregnancy already or if we're just going to wait until my January box. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my Stitch Fix box first since I've already done that. And then I'll do my FabFitFun and then I'll kind of do like a final thoughts at the end. All right, so the box is small, but it's pretty heavy. I just got them both yesterday so I was only going to do a one try on but since they came in together I thought it'd be fun just to kind of do a comparison they do give you a return mailbag with a return shipping label on there so anything I don't want to keep I can just go ahead and put it back in here and this does fit in my mailbox so I don't have to go out of my way to like find an office even though I do have a shipping office super close to my house okay so this is the first item in the box this is my first time getting shoes from them so these are cute I have to see how they fit and I'm just looking for a oh, booty okay. too. These are perfect for fall. I love the olive color. I don't know the pr Oh, you have the price. Thank you. I was trying to get her to take a nap and she won't. Okay, so the shoes are $65. I think the prices are what kind of like throws me off sometimes. I don't know if it's worth it and I feel like I can find these somewhere else for a little bit cheaper. Um, that's how I felt with my last one. I love the styles, but I just felt like the prices were a little too much. Okay, so this is the clothes. I already see some flannel, so I'm super excited. First impression, I already love this material. This is actually um, similar to the color that the first shirt I did keep. And this is a cardigan, so it's super soft. This is by Cotton Emporium. This is $38. All right, second item is the shirt. I do like the sides here, especially if you have a growing belly that like really works with it. I like the little keyhole in the back. Um, the color is gorgeous. I love the burgundy colors. And that shirt is $48. Okay, so this is, I'm not in love with it. I love flannels, but I don't know. Um, It does have a, like the button so I kind of like that except for I mean this should be fine um, being a bit bustier having buttons sometimes they pop so but this is okay this is $68 I already wasn't in love with it and then for the price no that helped me out a lot um okay so they are going with maternity pants already so I do have the band I just love this band I do like the wash and then they do have a cuff at the bottom so that's cute and they are $88 so things are a little pricey but I'll see how everything fits and then I'll decide okay so this is the shirt I do have maternity pants on um, it makes me look way more pregnant than what I actually am. <laughs> I'm not in love with the fit. I don't know. I just feel like the neckline fits weird as well. Um, like I want it to be off the shoulder. Like I want to do this. <laughs> okay. So I'm not in love and I kind of feel like where is a wall though, but let me show you the pants. Okay. So here's the pants and the shoes. Okay. So the shoes were hard to get on. Um, they're not super comfortable, but they're not like not comfortable. I just, I don't know. And I don't really like the point. Um, the pants are comfy. They have a high like waistband, but the ankle here, it's not tight enough for me. I like my fit around my calf. All right, and then here is, so it goes like all the way up. So I do like that. It's super stretchy. This is comfortable. Um, again, it's not super tight, so it's a little baggy and scrunchy. I just feel like they're going to stretch out the more you wear them. Okay, guys. Same. I'm not in love with this. It's just oversized. It's like that boyfriend, but it's not even the cute boyfriend. Um, look. That's what it looks like. I mean, it's super comfortable. It's soft. I have a lot of flannels, too, so I'm super picky about flannels. Maybe it's the way, like, the 
flannel print is. I don't know, I'm just not in love with this look. Okay, so the cardigan is definitely more me. I think the fit is really nice. It's super soft, I love the color. This is my tank top, I just threw it on. But this is definitely the colors I would pair it with. Only downfall is there's no pockets. So this is, I do like the curve at the bottom, yeah. So I just like things with pockets, but it's not a deal breaker for me. And then the back goes up a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna open my FabFitFun style box. So this is, again, my first time I get their seasonal boxes, so their lifestyle boxes. So I thought this was cool. So it's the same exact concept. There's a styling fee, and then if you decide to keep any of your items, you can get basically that styling fee that you paid goes towards one of the items. Then this box is a little bit bigger. It's about the same size as their style boxes. So this is what how it's packaged and what it looks like inside, if we can see. Um, with both with both boxes, you do get a 25% discount if you decide to keep everything. This is the first thing I saw. So I just love the simple layered necklaces. Um, and then this one kind of drops down. So this is super cute. And the necklace is $34. It's just gold. I am more of a silver person, but I mean, I'll do gold. All right, and then they do the same thing. It's just at the bottom. So um, they give you a return bag with the shipping label. So all you have to do is put everything back in the bag and then you can drop it off. And then this is the clothes. So she has more of like the brown kind of boho style from the colors already. Okay, so this is cute. Um, so it's kind of sheer, kind of has like a chiffon material. I do like the print, the color is different. I do like that it's still a short sleeve because then I don't feel so hot when I layer, especially when you're pregnant. As soon as you layer something over something that's already warm, you're just burning up. So this is like an easy, I can keep a layered cardigan over it and not get too hot. And it's $44, um, and it has like a little tie at the bottom. Okay, this, I don't know what it is, it's super soft. It's like a, oh, it's like a sweater. And I don't believe FabFitFun looks at your Pinterest board, so they're just guessing. <laughs> but so far, I like it. I do like how it opens right here, too. I'm sure once I try it on, it'll be better, but this is so soft. Um, and this is $64. Seems a little plain, it's just a gray t-shirt. It has like a little knot twist at the bottom here. And so the gray shirt is $38. And then, oh, they have the same brand, that cut brand, K-U-T, is that, am I saying that right? So super cute wash. These are not maternity jeans, they're just regular jeans and they're high-waisted, so I can get away with it for now. Um, and then they have a rolled cuffed bottom. And they're super stretchy. These ones are $89. Again, prices are a little high. Um, I normally don't spend that much money on like jeans and stuff, but I don't really buy jeans that often. So if they're going to either I'm gonna wear them all the time, which I love the wash of these, or I just have to like love like the fit, then I'll consider it. So, <laughs> but I do love this. This is like my favorite out of here. So let's just see see what they look like on. Okay, so I like this shirt a lot more than I thought I was going to. The only problem is with me being pregnant, it is super tight <laughs> right here. It's nice and baggy, so it still kind of hides the pooch if I needed to do that. It has a cute like, detail in the back with the razor back. Um, it is a little tight here too, but there's like give. It's really weird. I'm just I couldn't wear it for a while. And then I do have the pants on and I'm actually really in love with them, but it's the same thing. So if you guys can see, they're the high-waisted pants. So it kind of like holds my bump in, but once I really start growing, I'm not gonna be able to wear these unless I do like the rubber band effect. All right, here's a full view of the pants so you can see the cuff. I do like how it goes down at the ankle. They do fit nice. They're not too baggy or anything, um, but they're not too tight. They have a nice stretch to it. Um, mom bun looks good. I like the shape of the pockets, like this little diamond shape. So it's just, like I said, it, the bump worries me. All right guys, this is so soft and comfortable. It has cute little fringe style. I'm not wearing a shirt underneath, um, but you definitely have to, cause this just kind of pulls over. I mean, I guess you don't have to, but I feel more comfortable with the tank under <laughs> like a bralette. But oh my God, I just, I love it, I just don't know about the price. There's the 
full length at the bottom. And then again, it goes higher in the back and then long on the sides. And I love the color. Okay, and then this shirt is cute. I feel like it would work a while with my belly um, just because of how it hangs. I like the material. The only problem is, I don't know if you guys have ever had shirts where you like spill something on it and then it just stains it. This is that material. I'm, I'm afraid it's gonna <laughs> stain. I also feel like there's nothing special about it for the price. So this is a, I don't know, shirt. But, I mean, it's kind of plain. That's how I feel. Alright guys, but that is my little try on haul. So my thoughts about the Fat Fit Fun Style Box, I really did like what they chose for me. It's totally my style, but I feel like if they would have known I was pregnant, things would have been a little bit different. I honestly, in a heartbeat, I would buy everything on there, but it's just the fact that I know in a couple months I'm not going to be able to wear it, but it definitely gives me some inspiration after I have the baby to get back into them because they're fitting fine now at 13 weeks, so they should fit fine after the baby. That's a maybe. As far as the pricing goes, I felt like that gray shirt, I didn't feel $38 was worth it. Um, the shawl French cardigan, I love, but I think Eric will flip out if he sees the price of that one. I feel like the prices are similar to Stitch Fix prices. So like the jeans were $88, these were $89, so those are about the same. Yeah, and this was also, this was my first maternity box with them. I'm not in love with it. This is the same stylist, so he knows my style and my pregnancy style doesn't change. If you guys look at my Pinterest board, it's that same like edgy style. Um, it's very basic, just layering with like cardigans and leather. <laughs> and I didn't feel, this was a little too preppy for me, so... I might just keep the cardigan. The cardigan is $38 and then I do have $20 off. So I might just do that because I do love that cardigan and I don't have a gray one like that. But as far as everything else, I'm just gonna have to pass. I'm not in love with the FabFitFun box. It's literally just the price that's keeping me from buying stuff. So I did feel the FabFitFun just kinda hit my style a little bit better this time than my Stitch Fix box. So now I have some talking to do with Eric. Let me know if there's anything that you saw that I should just absolutely keep. Let me know if you would try FabFitFun. I'll link everything down below. I'm not affiliated with them, um, so I do get credit though if I refer somebody and you guys like it I think it's like $25 off and you get the same thing if you sign up and you refer your friends you get a $25 credit as well but I'll leave all that information down below guys thank you so much for watching Aria is finally asleep that was crazy earlier but that's my life if you're new don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that bell and give this video a thumbs up as always guys I love you and I will see you in my next video